Hello, everyone. Today, I'm very happy to introduce our work on having a more efficient transformer to do long-term time series forecasting. Our model patch TST is actually a simple but general framework that can be applied to any kind of transformer-based models. For example, it can be used on autoformer, informer, fatformer, and so on. But here, we are just using vanilla transformer encoder to prove its effectiveness. The key points are very simple, patching and channel independence. Let me introduce them. So first, our model only has transformer encoder part. For the decoder, we just use a simple linear head. And then we do patching, which is decomposing the time series into subsequences. Also, we split the original multivariate time series into separate univariate time series. And then they share the same model weights during the training. So the model will learn the average loss across different time series in the training process. Well, for the test step, each channel will only predict itself, so they won't affect each other in prediction. But the shared backbone actually indirectly learn all the information from different channels. Well, you may want to ask, why do we need patching? Here are two reasons. First is that patching allows us to capture local semantic information. Most of the previous work just used pointwise attention, which treats every single time step as an input token. But this is probably not true, because a single time step does not tell you anything about the local information. Just like a single pixel in a picture does not tell you any local patterns. So we need to aggregate them by using patching, just like what VIT does. Uh, the second point is that patching can reduce the time and space complexity because the number of the input tokens is reduced from L to L over P, thus the corresponding attention complexity is also reduced significantly. You may also want to ask why do we prefer channel independence? Well, channel independence actually allows us to have different attention maps in different channels. Here's an example. We plot the average of attention maps for each channel, and you can see that actually for those channels with similar temporal patterns, the attention maps might be similar. But for the others, the attention maps can be very different. However, if we use channel mixing, which is most of the previous models do, then we may limit the capability of having different attention maps across different channels. Channel independence is not the final answer, but this framework allows us to design spatial temporal correlation across different series, which could be a very good uh, future direction. Now let's take a look at the result. So for supervised learning, compared with the SOTA transformer-based models, our patch TST can achieve an overall about 20% reduction on MSE and about 16% reduction on MAE, which is a significant improvement. And for unsupervised learning, we test both linear probing and fine tuning for comparison. You can see that compared to other supervised models, our improvement is even greater. And compared with other unsupervised models, the improvement on MSE is about 30% to nearly 50%, which is very impressive. We also do some ex experiment on transfer learning, where we pre-train on the electricity data set and do testing on weather and traffic data set. The model is still very efficient. Another argument is that the forecasting model should be able to learn more information from a longer look back window. So the MSE is supposed to decrease with increasing look back windows. However, here we see that most of the previous transformer based models do not benefit from a longer look back window. Well, our patch DST on the other side, which is in purple line, has a monotonic decreasing MSE curve with the longer look back window, which shows its effectiveness for forecasting long-term time series. Well, to make a conclusion, we find two simple designs to make transformer efficient on time series forecasting, which are patching and channel independence. This is a general framework and could be a good base model in this field, and our code is available here. We hope that it could be beneficial to the whole community. Thank you very much for listening.